plastering underneath a staircase. Basically, it's been felted and wired to make a swirl. You probably wonder how the hell you get plaster to stick in that. Well, it's magic. Right, that's the first one. Basically, it's bonding mixed with cement. The cement goes in it just to kick it off a bit quicker. Um, so basically, instead of having like the loose mesh flapping around, it'll be nice and tight. So you can't be sitting very well, it's not a very good angle. Right, we'll put a little bit of uh, cement into the bonding to kick it off a little bit. Makes it set a bit quicker. A lot of other plasters that do. A lot of other plasters probably do this. Some will probably have something to say about it. So that it's a bad thing or most people will probably like this little thing. Alright, so we've got the basic shape of it now. It's a bit of a obviously this is a bit of a mad thing. This is a lock conversion. They don't really do this much anymore, but anyway. I'm not going to mess it out a bit much more. I'll shave it back a bit when it's set. I don't want to push my luck. Well, I've already pushed my luck using wet plaster. To try and it out. That's what happens. It all falls down. <laughs> it makes a right side mess, but we'll clean it up before the lady gets home. All right, now I've scraped back, scraped it back a bit, got it to the basic shape with the bonding of how we want it. I'm just going to give it a coat of PVA. Just to seal it up, because it's all very dry. That cement, obviously, as well, will kick off the, the finish, the multi finish plaster. So give it a nice, healthy coat. Don't be too stingy with it. And, uh, yeah, then it'll be ready for skimming. Right, that's the first cut I've got. Basically, what I'll do with this is I'll just lay it in. I won't flatten it and then put another coat on. I'll lay another coat into it. Um, it looks really rough, obviously a lot rougher than you'd normally put normal blaster on. But um, obviously, it's hard <laughs> to get it flat when it's fucking that sort of shape. Okay, right, we'll have another little look afterwards. We'll have a little look down here. Maybe look from downstairs. Right, this is the view for downstairs going up. That's <laughs> no, upstairs, okie dokie. Right, it's all laid in. I would just put advice. As you can see, you can see ripples in it, like as if like they're waves. You'd rather have things protruding right now than like dents in it, like like gouges out of it, because they'll be harder to fix. This stuff on the top will just move around. Once I start trying it out, I'll get it moving. I'll just as a matter of point, cross that one as well. Right, you'll notice it's getting 
smoother and smoother as we go. It's just a case of working it and working it, but working it at the right time. You don't want to do it when it's too wet. You, don't want to, you won't be able to do it when it's too stiff. As it picks up, I like to brush it in a little bit with a brush. Now, you don't want to do this when it's too wet. But you can get such a better shape on it. And you can get into areas because basically I've only used a 14 inch trowel on this and that's uh, obviously it's got hot long hard straight straight edges on it and uh, yes it's just just for getting a bit more detail I use a brush while it's wet what I'll do is I'll let that pick up a bit more and then I'll use the trowel again and we should be a bit closer to having it finished let's have a look see if we can see the shape it's not a very nice shape, in all fairness, <laughs> but it is what it is. Right, there you go, that's that basically finished ceiling with what there. That's well. It's hard to get a good angle on this. So it curves down, around, and then down again. Down and round. Yeah, you can't really tell by the video, but I uh, know yeah, that's a better angle. There you go. Fantastic. It's a bit of a better angle, so you can sort of see what's going on with it. Twist round. And, Swirls downstairs. I guess that's when I put a swirl. <laughs> 